Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? All going, on, you know, my dad? Man, it's going down, man. Today, hey, man, we want to just talk about a few topics, man. And um, we got my girl, Brittany Loso, in the building. Guys. What's up, y'all? What's up, family? What's going on? Man, you know, <clears throat> I just, you know, today's been a tough day for me because today we lost uh, a young lady here in the DFW. You Very know, young lady. She Very was young, 26, young lady. enchanting. Young, um, beautiful. Beautiful, talented. Beautiful. Just, you yeah. know, like I said, from this area, man, and to strive like she did, you know, mm -hmm. go and um, do what she done, accomplish what she accomplished, uh, signing on uh, with, you know, 1017. And, yeah. And being so young and leaving this area as a young, you know. She was young, almost like the first lady of 1017 because she was the only female. Yeah, she was the only female, female, female that, there. that uh -huh. he had at the time. And it just, it, it just, just something else, man, to see her go out like she did. I don't know. We keep hearing different reports. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to talk about that a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, Brittany, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the video, but when it first took off last night, they pronounced her dead early. Like, yeah. Did you did you see that? Premature. You know, it's like out of nowhere. It was just like I just seen like, hey, pray for this person. Pray for. I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, who is it? Who are they referring to? And I'm like, I'm looking. I was like, I'm like, man, like what happened? You know, that's the first thing we ask ourselves, right? Like, what happened? We want to know what happened or what is the status. And it was some saying pray for her. Some saying she's already gone. So I was just like kind of a little bit confused about it, actually. First person I seen was Johnny D. That was the first guy I seen that really reported. He mm -hmm. seemed to be at the hospital. Mm -hmm. And it tripped me out because you usually don't see nobody just at the hospital go live like that. Come I, on, I, you I, don't even have a signal in I the went hospital. To, I went and, and interviewed... Uh, but his leg got cut off ESG mm -hmm. and he told me why you know after the surgery was mm -hmm. done hey he come down here and that's different you know that's but different. when you got somebody that's on do you think that I, I'll ask you do you think and I bo ask both of y'all do you think he him going live was that disrespectful to the family or was it the fact that he really was trying to seek people to pray for her what you think I think I'm always going to go on the other end because I want everybody to look at it from all aspects. OK, right. you never know. He could be just um, so worried and so frantic where, yes, he already prayed, but he feel like, let me try and get the whole world to pray for her. Let me try. Let me go out here. And um, I don't because we're in a generation where everybody go live. Everybody's going doing videos. Mm -hmm. My age group will go on Facebook <laughs> and put a message out. Mm -hmm. Everybody pray for my family, whatever, without yeah. any video or anything. Mm -hmm. like, but that's my generation. The right. newer generation is all about, you know, um, doing videos, going live and stuff like that. So yeah. him reaching out just for prayers, he might just genuinely just need prayers for her because he's caring. You know what I mean? For mm -hmm. he want to see her pulled through because... All of this happened so fast. She went in the hospital. She went in a coma. Then all of a sudden, the next day, they took her off of exactly. life support. Exactly. Well, that goes back to my point. When you say all this happened so fast, everything is happening so fast that I don't have time to go on my phone and go live and say, please pray. My thing is this. It's given. Let me set up my alibi. Or wow. let me put some. Let me put some. Because this is the thing. I'm under, I'm not here. First of all, we all know when you put out there, it's a, as much love you get, you get haters at the same time. That's so the same true. time you telling other people to pray, it's some people praying for your downfall. Mm -hmm. Who who praying for you? Who who? You don't go live for nothing else. Yeah. You, you in the middle of disparity or anything else like that, I'm not finna, I'm not going live. I'm not involving nobody else, especially if their family isn't there yet. Especially, like you say, if that person didn't give you the go ahead to go ahead yeah. and do that. She's but do all, we know if he got, we don't know if they, he got to go ahead. You don't even have a signal in we the don't hospital, know. Ms. Jamaica. He had to go to some corner in uh, the hospital, I, and especially if you're in the critical condition area. You have so many machines there. The signal does not work in the hospital. Because they have heart machines, they have everything else. So you had he had to go to the duck off to do that, mm -hmm. and it's not he's a ex, he's a ex, he's not her husband, he's not her manager. He was somebody that was close to her that did not have the okay at the end of the day, and that's just respect. That's just a respect thing. Like, dang, we have no wow. more respect. You know, I well, like when I first seen it, it just 
it came across and it was so frantic, you know, like it was it was crazy to me because I, I just you just never see nobody do that. You know what I mean? Not so close up on it like that. You know what I mean? So but but Johnny Damn D, he came on here, you know, and um, he did have a long lasting relationship with her, mm -hmm. even though it was abruptly stopped when she signed a 1017, as he explained on the show. You know, he pretty much said, hey, man, you know. Um, she left, you know, and, and mm -hmm. I wasn't able to go with him. And so there are some things that kind of, you know, channel like, dang, man, uh, I was happy to see, you know, that they had gotten kind of closure, I was thinking, mm -hmm. you know, because I had heard that he, she had been seeing him again, you know. Uh, through little videos mm -hmm. and you can see in the background. Was she seeing him again? Not like not that. Like that. I, don't I know. Not I don't know like how that. he was seeing but her. But I'm talking like as friends, was he, they seen again as friends um, before she got dropped off at 1017 or after? Do you know? Do you remember? That was a, a, like this here recently. I, allegedly. This, recently. I, I, this was I, after yeah, she got that, dropped. That you could see at her the end of the day, on somebody, a few of his lives. It, it, you know? If it's somebody you love, you're not doing that. I'm I, I'm sorry. I'm not involving everybody. So you say not doing post, what, it's fine. But you hey, say you're not going to go live at the hospital. That's what you're saying. No. And I've watched too. But many. how does that help your alibi? Because you were saying it seemed like an alibi thing. But how I does watch that too many crime shows? That, they think they're smarter than. How the does situation. that help an alibi? Because it shows that he has remorse. It's showing that was a, he didn't even have a tear. Let's go back and watch the video. Drop wow. the video. It was not a tear dropping from his eyes. It was painful. It was painful, and I've seen plenty. And y'all can hold me to it. Rest her soul. But it's going to be something that comes out with some foul play. Wow. And I can stand on that. It's going to be something. It just it didn't it, it just didn't it didn't quite sit right. It didn't quite sit right. And if it isn't, I apologize. I'll take it back and I'll, you know, I'll go ahead recant and do that. You I'll recant that. But I'm standing on that right at this point. It just doesn't sit well with me that he went to do that. In, yeah. the, in a in a in a in such a frantic because yeah. everything went so fast like you said you went from here to the hospital to a coma to not here anymore. But then when when, when I say fast because we don't know what time she went into the hospital. Mm -hmm. Say 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 she went to the hospital at three o'clock mm -hmm. that morning. Mm -hmm. What time did he post that video? Was that video that night? Mm -hmm. So she's been in a hospital. By himself, talking to family, talking to everybody, no, praying, worrying. You know, yeah, I'm talking. They're in there. He's worrying. He's stressing. Then he eventually turned to social media because he's mm -hmm. like, y'all, I need y'all help. I need y'all to pray for her. Da, da. You know, she needs, needs as much prayers as she can mm -hmm. get. I don't know. And another thing, we don't really know if he was the one that brought her to the hospital, if her sister right, or a family don't member. Know. We don't yeah, know all the particulars. Yeah, we don't. But look, <laughs> dude, we but, don't. We but, don't know all the particulars. But. And um, we, 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 we but will we, find but out. But I do know he was the first one that I seen go live about the situation. I see. Yeah, because I her boyfriend didn't even go no, live I, at all. And for those who follow Boss Talk, y'all go back and look at the video. I want you to drop the video in. I you will. Can see if y'all see a tear. Just see. Uh, if a tear falls, I've watched plenty of investigations. i watched plenty of crime scene. I, I, I can really be an investigator if I really put my mind to it. I think every woman can. I so do the too, men, so men be can. crying in situations like that. Girl, men who hard. He couldn't find a tear. He couldn't find a tear with a flashlight in the daytime. It was painful, and it was just like, what are you, what's the issue? You're not saying nothing. You're just on here saying, let's pray for it. What are we praying for? What is going on? You ain't even dropping the real real information. So you're not going to say what what's going on. You're not going to say what the tithe. Just don't say nothing. Like, you should be praying with your people who genuinely love her, who are part of her tribe. Like that's who prays for her, her family, her close people. Y'all should be. Why are you on live? You should be hand in hand with her granny and them. Wow. We should be coming together right now. On the, you know what I'm saying? Like the only thing I'm concerned about is her right now. And then when it's all said and done, and whatever happens, happen. Then we go and we, they make a public statement. And they say, hey, you know. But that was that was cap, and that was for the show, and that was theater arts. But what so, I love, I love the I love the love that everybody's been showing. Absolutely. Everybody has been posting pictures. And, you know, rest in yeah. peace and so forth. And everybody from Gucci Man, his heart is broken, mm -hmm. you know, Man, all the what way. Do you think, what do you think about that? That, that Gucci Man, he's, he's definitely, um, you know, I, he three months ago I seen him say on an interview that he had 
pretty much dropped her from the late. Well, that they, they wasn't rocking no more. Pretty right. much they mm-hmm. dropped him. It's about business. three months business. ago. Business. Yeah. So he had detached himself from, you know, her in that way. In, in that way. In the but business. Yeah, some, but, yeah. it, but he still, because he spent so much time with her, you know, you, you, you got to understand that you build a relationship with somebody. Right. Right. You been and, around mm-hmm. them like and nobody wants to see nobody gone right. at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we might can't do business together and get money, and we, we it may mm-hmm. not go that way. But I, I don't want to see you gone. Right. I don't want to see a young woman who's as talented as she was lose her life behind whatever it may be. Um, so not gonna we all you know we all could be. But be Gucci Man from Big Big Scar, he passed away. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's the only two. She passed away. Everybody else is in prison. Hot boy, hot boy uh, West is in prison. Mm. Uh, Pooh Shice is in prison. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. The only one I know that's out is Big Walk Dog. You know, there's yeah. another one. There's another one in mm-hmm. prison too. It is. Mm-hmm. So, it, like I'm saying, he. But but then let's talk think about Gucci for a minute. Gucci comes home, totally reformed, mm. changed his whole life. Mm-hmm. And he picks the people out that kind of resemble some of the things he was going through mm-hmm. before he them. was able to change. Mm-hmm. To try to help and them. And he walked in front of them yeah. as a changed man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it but it didn't change them, so to speak. Because he mentioned that on, I think I showed it to you on Keisha Cure um, podcast. She started a podcast and she asked him about that. Why you keep on picking certain people to be on here? And she's, he said it. He said, they remind me of me, how I used to yeah. be. So... I'm trying to, you know, help them. This is like his, almost like them. his ministry, almost like his ministry. Like that's how, that's where he finds himself being most comfortable and being and more most influential. And you got to meet people where they are sometimes and be able to try to assist them. But and they got admirable. Help mm-hmm. But you know, sometimes you can't help everybody. But that's you true. try to. I always say this. I always say, plant your seed. You might not see the results right now. But if they're still living, you mm-hmm. can always see the results later on down the line. And mm-hmm. they can say, well, you know, he did say this back then. But I was just too much of a knucklehead to, to accept it. But I remember that. Yeah, you but know? It's, it's hard to plant a seed when you've all when you have took the ground and you got rid of the weeds and you make sure you water it to not watch, wait for the harvest. So it's a lot of it's mm-hmm. sometimes hard for us to plant a seed and, and be able to accept that I may not be here for the harvest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that probably, you know, we, we can get into that. But, I mean, that probably be the case, you know. But yeah. sometimes you got to walk away and say, you know what, I planted a seed. I did by good means. And, and just know, leave it alone because yep. you can't help everybody. Yep. Yeah. That's probably what happened. Man, I just hate, like I said, Chatton was a young girl. Uh, man, a lot of people reach out to me. And I've been getting calls all day about yeah. her passing. I've been getting videos sent mm-hmm. just right now. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody just saying, man, this happened. It's just making me aware uh, man, I, all I can tell. And she people. was working. She had a lot of music she was working on. Cause yeah. when you look down her um, Instagram, you can see where she say, you know, she has two projects working on. They're coming mm-hmm. soon, and man, so forth. Man, shout out to Half Pint. He's another one that come on the show, and yeah. he always would show her respect. And I actually asked Half Pint a few times, man, get me enchanted, right? right? You got to get over to the shop, man. Yeah. You got to get a buy. And he was like, I'm going to get with her when she come to town. Mm-hmm. Her, Supreme, mm-hmm. Supreme would say the same thing. Like, everybody, I would ask her about ask yeah. about her, you yeah. know. I just never did get to meet her because I'm pretty sure it would have happened. But yeah. at the end of the day, I just be thinking the devil be trying to keep people away from me because they know I'm going to bless them. They know I'm going to show them love. Yeah. I know the devil be trying to be busy to keep people away from mm-hmm. people like us. Yeah. People who really seasoned, who going to be a good influence. Because every moment mm-hmm. that a person is around somebody like you, somebody like you, yes, somebody like, like me, mm-hmm. it basically helps them to stay out of harm's way. Because right. we're not out living that lifestyle like that. You right. see what I'm saying? And, and, and just being just being in this climate that we're in today, like I'm hearing different things like how she passed and everything else. And I just want to go on the record, y'all. Whatever drugs is out there, listen. Man. Just stop. Just please get some help. Because the way they are stepping on drugs these days and how they are stepping on, it's no, it's I mean, goodness. We don't know. It's like no integrity. It's like just like man, you just gonna knock them off just so they can get up there. But I mean, the pills, like all the different things, like I don't know what exactly it was. They're saying OD or they're saying different things like that. We don't know. But this is just sidebar, not even on this. Please say no to drugs. 
Walk away, turn around, pivot. You see a lot of people in the comments say, yes, it's, you know, people saying that, but then some people say it's easier said than done. You know, people saying, right. you know, it could be the environment you have around mm -hmm. you, but uh, why are the friends and so forth didn't say stop, but the friends could be involved too. Yeah. You know, you don't yeah. ever know the whole situation. Yeah. You just never know. But the first thing came on my mind was how many A-lister celebrities do you know of, male and females, that have ro risen to that point and have never taken drugs? Can you list me five? So... Ever taken? They might not be on drugs right now. Mary, but it has Mary, never taken Kurt drugs. Kurt Franklin. Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what we got? Marvin's. See, you Seth. going all gospel. <laughs> uh, I'm talking. <laughs> let me think. Well, yeah, Let's say in the rap game. There, in there. the rap game. Chance the rapper. Chance. Uh, Kendrick. Maybe come. Lamar. Coming. Maybe, are you, are you for sure of these like, all these names? The, the thing about being an artist is this is this is this is oh, okay. This is gonna go with being an artist. You have to be able to be in a creative space. Okay. Okay. Life puts you in a unproductive space in some cases because you have the different things that's going on, and when you get to certain levels, certain vibrations, you're able to produce okay. create mm -hmm. our best creators had to get to those certain levels to do so right so they had to take drugs to get there that's what you're I trying to say I would say drugs is a, a gateway to creativity because it remove it takes you to a vibration where you're able to remove consciousness where you would double think about it like you know what I'm saying like it's like lick drinking but there are there are people just like in other mm -hmm. genres of entertainment, other genres of music who do not take drugs. Which who, ones? Just like you were talking gospel. about gospel and they're creative. Yeah, but they also go into that vibration. R and B. The there's a lot of R and B singers who are, don't take drugs. Which one? Um, did Byron McKnight ever take drugs? He looked like Byron McKnight, McKnight wrote off all his kids. I don't want to talk about Byron McKnight. <laughs> like, he's taking something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's taking something. I'm going to shut this down. Y'all going to take this somewhere totally different. Listen, man. She started it. I'm not doing this. I just want to yeah. say, man, prayers up for Enchanting. And I'm going to leave it there. And we're going to be praying for her. And um, you're going to say a prayer? Right now, for uh, for just yeah, we're gonna pray right now for uh. You think this don't matter. We got two or three cameras. Yeah, we're gonna we pray right we now. We're gonna pray. We're always pray. We're gonna pray right now for uh, uh, just society. Really, just pray yes. For, just pray. Yes, okay. Thank you, Lord, for this day it wasn't promised to us. Thank you so much for allowing us to come together with my Boss Talk family. Right now, we're praying right now for our environment. We're going to have a special prayer for Enchanted and her family right now, um, whatever they may go going through. Lord, we pray right now that for those dark places that you bring light, for those places that are lacking hope, Lord, that you bring love. Lord, we pray right now for your grace, Lord. We pray right now for your understanding. For those who are going through those depressing times, for those who may be sad, Lord, we pray that you replace that with joy. In the times that you are, we are lost, we pray that you lead us. Lord, right now we want to just thank you so much in advance for the things you're going to do for us. Thank you so much for things you haven't done. And right now we just want to ask for your covering, Lord, and hope that you keep us within your grace and that you be able to give us a chance to be able to continue being the light in the dark places that we continue to do each and every day. Lord, right now there's nothing that we can do that you don't already know is going to happen. So we just thank you so much for allowing us to have another day that wasn't promised to us and allowing us to be able to, if we could just save one, if we just encourage one is not give up. If we could continue to just be able to love on one. So we pray we continue to do that. And, you know, God, we just pray right now for the, the pray that you bind up the devil and whatever he has coming against us in the name of Jesus. And you keep us covered under your blood. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, man. Amen. Amen, man. Make sure you guys, Woo! man. Hey, man, listen, man. Make sure you guys keep watching, keep supporting what Boss Absolutely. Talk 101 bring to the table. Um, and thank God that you still got your loved ones here with you. Yes, because I love Talk my loved ones. 101. Thank we you. We love y'all. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. And we out.